what we did, we walked out, pulled up in the buses like we did today. We pulled up, everybody saw all these cars everywhere. Just wondering how many people could be in the stadium. So you get off the bus, or you ride by, and you notice all the people just screaming. So you get off the bus, your adrenaline start rushing, gets real high. You get amped up, your body, your mind telling you you're so ready to play. Or you amping yourself up, you feeding yourself. When you walk through the gate and you hear all the people just screaming your name, screaming, Trojans, Trojans, DC, bring the hammer. It's all you hear. When you walk in, you feel it. You got somebody heart go to beat. Your mind just go to wonder. You don't know. From that point, you just call it high. You never did drugs, you just call it high. That's the aptitude of football. That's when the fans get in your head. That's when the game really get in your head. If you really love it, it gets you. Because what it do is suck you in. So once you walk out, you come in the locker room, go from the brain back in here, you settle you down, get you in here in a cold spot so you don't see that no more, it calms down. But soon they open back up, you got more fans. You got people starting crying around the doors. As you walk out there, it gets real loud. Lights start flashing, you see cameras flashing. You don't know what's going on from that point. You really lost. But now you got to bring yourself back home because we got a game to win. So now you got to really think. So you think about everything you went through in practice. It's hitting you. Your heart pumping. You don't know what you're going to do. You worry. You don't know you don't want to make no mistake. You get on the field. Ball kicked off. Your mind still blowing. For me, 94. I didn't wake up to halftime. I was blown the whole first half. So ready, thinking I'm ready. I hear everybody else saying they're ready. But you look around, everybody's eyes just got blaring. You know, it's glaring. They ain't really focused. They don't know what's really going on. You in the game, you just giving this all. Things happen, you look around, you worry about making mistakes and everything. But what we want to do now, I'm here to tell you how that is. I experienced it. You think you're ready, but when you walk out of here, don't let the fans get you. We came here for a mission. We came to play a game, so you got to bring yourself back home. I learned this over time. You got you to come focused to play that game. It's still there. And that's why we want to talk about this focus. Go back home. Think about it. We practice all week. You know who you are. You know who you are. Coach Martin, Coach Wilson say who you play for. You play for Brooks County. You came out here to do that. You got fans that come watch you, but you came out and have a business. So we want to focus on the task, and the task is to come out here and run through Thomasville. Run through Thomasville, let the lights flash, let the fans enjoy all that, but you came out and have a business. What we did, we had a business before halftime. I just didn't ever wake up, but my players around me came to have a business because they were seniors. They came here to do what they're supposed to do. I was a freshman. I didn't know what was going on. But after that, I learned, though. Now, yeah, after that, it was my time to focus. Don't let the fans get you sucked in. It's time to play. That's what time it is. When you walk out of here, it's time. So wake up. 